now to a spring watch success story. The polecat is a cheeky little mammal who's made a comeback during the past few years. Although they went extinct in Scotland, they clung on in Wales and Herefordshire, and now the Midlands is a stronghold for their expansion into the rest of the country. But despite increasing numbers, most of us wouldn't recognise a polecat if we fell over one. Environment correspondent David Gregory Kumar has a spotter's guide. This is Hollybush and it contains a church parish which covers three counties, Gloucestershire, Herefordshire and Worcestershire. And this is prime polecat country. Now they're usually found in hedgerows but the church warden here, he found one under the bookcase. I couldn't get it out and I say I wasn't going to put my fingers in in case I got them nipped. So eventually I thought well the only answer is to call an expert so we called the RSPCA. And a lady came out and she had a look and uh, saw these two eyes looking at her from under the bookcase. So she did manage to get it out and eventually it shot out and went out through the cat flap. But she got sufficient view of it to say that she thought it was a polecat. Despite their growing numbers, most of us would be hard pressed to tell a polecat from a weasel or even a stoat. Right. The thing about a polecat is would you recognise one if you saw one? They may be doing quite well, but really we're more familiar with uh, other mammals like uh, badgers or otters. So here's a quick guide. So this chart shows the relative size, but basically if one dashes in front of your car and it looks like a furry sausage, weasel or stoat, something more cat-sized could well be a polecat. The Vincent Wildlife Trust is a Herefordshire charity that's been tracking increasing polecat numbers for some time. Most people, unfortunately, tend to see polecats dead on the road, um, so, which isn't very nice. Um, but occasionally you do see them running across the road. It tends to be at night, so it's dark, and you might just pick them up in your headlights. And there's always one question you have to ask anyone whose job it is to look out for certain animals. Have you ever seen one in the wild? I've seen two live polecats, but many more dead ones. <laughs> well, beside the road then? Yeah. So how important is the Midlands in terms of their sort of population, their range? The Midlands has been very important and it, it, it was certainly a real stronghold for them uh, when they started to recover sort of 30, 40 years ago um, and, and still is an area where polecats are very widespread now. So it, it forms quite a major part of their, their core range. How do people tend to feel about them then, when you come across them? Well, a lot of people just don't know what a polecat is, so um, a lot of the time it's, it's just telling people, you know, what is this strange animal that you've seen? So keep your eyes peeled. If it's more like a furry sausage, remember, stoat or weasel. Something bigger, well, that could be a polecat. And don't forget to check under your bookcase. It's David Gregory Kumar, who else? And uh, for plenty more close-up pictures and tips for polecat spotting, do check out David's blog. That's at bbc.co.uk slash David Gregory Kumar.